Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to optimize your avatar with absolutely no effort. It's super easy, works for PC and Quest. It's quite cool, quite nice. So uh, let's get to it. First you get to get the dark players avatar optimizer. I'm gonna link you this uh, page in the description. And you scroll down and you put it into your creative companion. And then you add it to your project. Uh, you basically add it just like any other package. You can see I, I already added it here, the latest version. And then you go to Unity and you find your avatar. I'm going to use this one as an example. <clears throat> and there's two ways you can do this, by the way. So first one is you go to Tools, Dark Player, Avatar Optimizer Settings. And you can basically apply all the same settings uh, onto all avatars in the project. But I actually like to uh, you know, have more control over my stuff. So I actually don't do always optimize on upload and I actually select the avatar I want to upload and optimize and I add a component manually, which you can do that as well. You look for a uh, dark avatar optimizer component, you add it in and it's essentially the same thing, uh, but you know, you, you can set it for each avatar individually, for example. So here I do want to apply on upload always because, um, for this specific avatar, I want to upload optimized every time. The only one thing that I don't do is optimize the FX layer because I also want to have control over that and I'm quite good at optimizing it. So I'm going to deselect, but you know, you can do that. And the thing is uh, everything, by the way, that I'm going to explain <coughs> is non-destructive, meaning you can always revert if you just remove this component, you know, uh, like we re um, remove component and it's going to, you know, undo everything. But if you, uh, for example, what you can use this for mainly, <clears throat> it can merge skinned meshes uh, that can be merged. For example, you don't toggle them, um, you don't do, you know, material swaps on them, certain stuff complicated, maybe even, but we're too lazy here. So we're just gonna let it do its thing. And you can see how here it actually tells you what it's gonna do and how it's gonna optimize your avatar. You can see it goes from five to three skinned meshes. And that is still, you know, quite optimized anyway. But for example, some people could go from 50 to 15, which can be quite the actual difference because skin meshes can be quite expensive, meaning, you know, expensive for your computer. Uh, yes. <laughs> and um, also it can merge material slots. And also one of the most important things is um, merging the blend shapes. What it does, it looks for blend shapes on all the meshes you don't use in like animations, mouth movement, blinking or whatever. And it just deletes them because you don't need them anyway. And blend shapes can be quite expensive. So this is really good for optimizing. And basically the only thing you have to do after you're, you know, happy with the settings, you just, uh, you know, go to your little SDK and you just upload. And you're going to see how, uh, how it optimizes everything. But before I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna show you on a more unoptimized avatar, for example, this one in my list. And I'm gonna add the component again. And you can see how here, it goes from 135 blend shape to 23, which is quite a difference. It's like six times less even, which is quite crazy. So I definitely recommend you use this because it literally takes no effort at all. So uh, let me know what you think, like and subscribe. Tell me in the comments what you think and uh, I'll see you in the next video.